So after a brief introduction, we will move to uh, analyze this uh, protocol. You see how it starts from the prosthetic uh, point of view, from the prosthetic planning, and it uh, then moves to the uh, surgical steps, because of course, surgery is uh, uh, still the main field and very important issue in, in implant dentistry. We will see which are the main steps of this protocol and how it allows us to create uh, uh, some uh, different classes of, uh, we try to classify the defects because it is related to the management of uh, complex cases where we uh, need to deal with uh, uh, bone uh, defects, like you will soon see, and then we'll go for some uh, conclusions. So it's more than 20 years the concept of a prosthetically driven implant placement has been created. And that was uh, probably one of the uh, first publications where this concept was introduced. More than 20 years ago, David Garber and Professor Urs Belser wrote this paper uh, where they concentrated the focus on the restoration driven uh, implant placement. And uh, so, of course, Many years has passed, but the, the concept is for sure very actual, and the, we know the ITI gave a big contribution to this uh, with its guidelines. And so we know that uh, if we follow the correct way, if we follow the correct path, uh, in our cases we can achieve quite precisely, quite sure, a favorable aesthetic result. Uh, I think it's especially important to follow the uh, indications of a surgical template when we deal with aesthetic cases.